What's going on YouTube? It's Mr. Best Kept Secret. I'm coming at you with the next video of our St. Louis Rams slash Mexico City Diablos Madden 25 order mode franchise. As you can see so far, we're not doing so well. We're 0-5, uh, which isn't really the greatest record, but hey, we can get a good draft pick and hopefully improve this team and make it a playoff team next year. So, as you can see, uh, UConn's tight end, Jake Bellamy, who we have scouted a little bit so far, is actually playing really well so far. And as you can see, we have quite a bit of injuries and we get Jake Long back from injury. And uh, first overall pick, Aaron Fisher, out for six weeks. And yeah, so in the last video, guys, I uh, I went through weeks uh, one to five, and uh, this is week six. And I'm just gonna ch check out the depth chart just to see how everybody's progressing so far. As you can see, Thaddeus Lewis is injured, as well as Kellen Clements. So we're rolling with third string quarterback Austin Davis, which might uh, which might be a very good uh, indicator of why we are only five. And uh, other than that, there's not there's not some there's not a lot of very bad injuries that we have. Um, as you can see, all of our wide receivers are healthy. Um, our tight end Jared Cook, who could probably make a very beast tandem with uh, Jake Bellamy, a very talented uh, tight end prospect. As you can see, Scott Wells is injured, and uh, Barrett Jones has filled in for him quite nicely. Um, I'm just hoping to develop him into a franchise center, which would be great. And as you can see, Kendall Langford is injured, our starting defensive tackle. But what I forgot to do is move Linval Joseph up uh, the depth chart. and he, So he hasn't gotten a lot of playing time, hasn't been able to develop so far. Um, there's our linebacking core with Alec Ogletree, the rookie, our right outside linebacker. And none of our DBs are injured, which is good. I want to get Janoris Jenkins and uh, our other rookie corner a lot of playing time. As you can see, Darian Stewart, uh, very solid uh safety and there's our kicking situation and our returner Tavon Austin uh, just a very dynamic player very dynamic athlete I want to get the ball in his hands as much as possible and you'll definitely be seeing that next year as you can see for our long snapper we're actually rolling with the rookie Barrett Jones because our first two options are actually injured so yeah that's just a little bit quick of an overview for the team you guys um, let me know what you think about it so far in the comment section down below if you like this series so far definitely let me know and uh, hit that uh, like button and subscribe if you're new to the channel that'd be greatly appreciated and as you can see we're going to scout some new players this week and uh, um, since we are our running back situation isn't that exactly the grace either I might go after a running back but I definitely want to be scouting all three of these quarterbacks as we'll start with Brett Longo the six foot three quarterback from Memphis that we originally started scouting last episode and like I said last episode, I uh, I want to get a lot of these letter grades unlocked for the draft. A lot of these other letter grades aren't very important for quarterbacks, but um, I want to see if they uh, have certain traits about them and their confidence and their personality, all that kind of stuff. Because their personality ends up leading to jersey sales and uh, their jersey sales eventually. Because they are the quarterback of the team, they, uh, they're they going to have to be selling a lot of jerseys. As we're unlocking a lot of these letter grades for Jed McDermott, he's actually a lot better than what I thought he would be. Um, he's probably very slow, but you never know. Um, as we have enough to just uh, unlock some stuff. And his personality is actually an F, which I really don't like. Uh, I'm just going to unlock a bunch of different stuff for him anyways. I accidentally unlocked ball carrier vision, which really isn't that important, but whatever. And... Uh, yeah, and we're just going to uh, see if we can unlock anything for 25 scouting points on Jake Bellamy. As we can see, he's not an impact blocker, which is okay. Um, he's got a very big frame anyways. I wouldn't be using him a lot as a blocker. I'd probably be splitting him out wide, probably bringing him into the formation. Um, a lot of cool stuff. You'll be, uh, you guys will like to see my offense in this game. It's, uh, it's very different. Um, well, not very different, but I mean, uh, I, th I like to think it's different. I like to think it's pretty cool. So, yeah, once you guys see some gameplay, it'd be wicked. And as you can see, we're going into week seven here. And we uh, we won our first game. We, uh, we won our first game. And uh, as you can see, uh, one of the top news segments is about the left outside lawn but left outside linebacker Oliver Florence this is just starting to get the hang of things as you can see he finishes with eight tackles and one tackle for a loss and with that win last week our coach Jeff Fisher actually reached 100 victories which is very good um, it's nice to see and as you can see here just some of the news stories and uh, one of them is including a four TD performance against Rutgers for our uh, for our prospect tight end Jake Bellamy uh, he's definitely been impressing so far this year um, 
I'm definitely liking to see where uh, he might be in the future. Definitely going to be considering drafting him with our first, uh, with our fr one of our first round picks. Because remember, we do have a second first round pick from the Washington Redskins. And so, if we're going to get a quarterback in the, uh, if we're not going to get a quarterback or uh, in the first round, if we find a late round quarterback that we like, we might want to go running back and load up on the offense. As we ha already have Tavon Austin, as we scouted Benji Jackson, a running back from Florida. Uh, definitely going to be interested in him. Uh, and yeah, so we're going to uh, just check out... Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking I'm definitely going to try and scout uh, Oliver Florence, that left outside linebacker. Because he does pop up a lot. And he might, uh, he might, you know, he might make the team. He might be end up turning into a good player. So you never know what you can find from a guy like that. And I'm just going to scout a random... Uh, a very random trait. Just so that uh, he ends up showing up in our scouted column. And as we're going to advance to the next week after uh, we see some updates on our stadium construction and we look at some draft stories. So uh, the fire pit, I, the name that I actually really like is uh, being constructed. And we're going to go to the next week in, as in being week 8 of this regular season. I'll see you then. Alright guys, so... Uh, we're facing the Seahawks this week, and I believe they are 9-1, and one, which is, uh, or sorry, I think they might be 7-1, uh, or sorry, 6-1, and one, sorry, 6-1. and one. Uh, As you can see, we're going to auto-progress the players, and we're going to be doing some scouting this week. Um, I just, I want to find that franchise quarterback that we can build this entire series around, and if we can't find it this year, I hope, hopefully we find it next year, but I'm not going to be pressured to take a quarterback in this year's draft. Um... Because, as you can see, we're just going to get some of these... We're just going to quickly compare the three quarterback prospects that we have. Uh, the low throw accuracy goes to McDermott. And the deep throw accuracy, again, goes to McDermott. As they're all tied, except for our awareness rating, it go, it's tied between Longo and Dudzik. And uh, a lot of the other ratings... McDermott's actually looking like the best quarterback out of this entire uh, group. I'm not 100% sure if I'd actually want to draft him, though. Um, because I, I don't know, I just, I feel like if we wait that one more year, there might be a very, very talented quarterback to come out of the draft, or you, you just never know, maybe there might be a quarterback in free agency, uh, I just, I just, uh, I'm not 100% certain, I have been putting a lot of time into scouting these quarterbacks, but I just wanted to, uh, I just wanted to make sure that we get the right one, you know what I mean, and, uh, after the scouting, because we don't have, we have quite a bit of scouting points left. I just want to make sure I get all these uh, attributes for these quarterbacks scouted, because I do want to make the right decision. And uh, just gonna unlock those last couple attributes. And see, like, I'm just, I'm just not sure. And we're gonna put all the rest of the points into Benji Jackson, the six foot two, two hundred pound running back from Florida. Uh, I believe that he could actually be a very talented running back. V excellent ball carrier vision, excellent spin move. And this is where I'm going to call the video quits, guys. It's been Mr. Best Kept Secret. Make sure to like and comment on the video and subscribe if you're new to the channel. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. See you guys.